Can I target this? Interesting. Inside the forest of Zoa. Oh yeah, they're messing everything up. Save the game. <laughs> this feels a lot like uh, playing the original. What is this? It stopped moving. It leads above the forest. You get to see like these like strange bugs floating behind the uh, 3D layer here. I love this game's use of 2D as 3D. Like, I think it just looks so neat. Baroque did that also, and was like really fun looking. That might be a replay sometime. That game didn't really take that long. I think, I mean, I finished it in like two, three days, didn't I? Something like that. I would love to play the uh, Saturn version or the Switch version. I guess the Saturn version got translated, so. Kettle says, you finished Baroque so quickly that I missed 100% of it. Well, we could play the Saturn version sometime. It's shorter than the PS1 version, so it's not, it wouldn't be annoying. It would literally be like a one session game. It, it really wouldn't take very long. Baroque was like six episodes and each episode I think I, I spent an hour or so on, so it was pretty short. And then we could review the the terrible PS2 Wii version that no one likes. I love the, the fire transparency. This is what I was talking about when I said that the Saturn, it's not that the Saturn can't, doesn't support transparency as many people believe erroneously. It's that the way that it uses transparency is really weird and like it, you can't layer transparencies upon transparencies, which is why so many elements in Saturn games uh, will do dithered, art, uh, dithered stuff instead of doing uh, transparencies for everything because it can get in the way of other, uh, the way other elements are, are basically generated on screen. But like this game has a pretty large amount of, uh, a pretty large amount of transparency. I mean, as you can see it right here. God, more fights. I 
Azure Paragon says, I love how these proto drones look like they're jumping in, uh, they're jump roping in midair. That's funny. Yay, fight the Arangata. That's a lot of damage that we did. So the things that we did underground were just weakening those things so that we could take them out really quickly. Leveled up to 40. Let's go. I don't remember what level I beat the game at the first time I played it. Must I'm, I mean, it must have been probably around 50. Whatever the last level is that gives you abilities was probably the last one I did. If I can change my gun, I might have a better gun for this. And I think we've killed most of them. Yeah. Nice. Level 41. This is the way they quickly level you up if you're under leveled. It just here you go. You might be wondering where I'm going right now, but I'm actually trying to find a thing. This is the thing I wanted. We'll check. Alright, I basically explored this whole place. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay, I got everything down here. I just wanted to make sure of that. This clock says, is there a level cap? I'm not sure. It might be 50. Let's make sure that we cover all of the branching paths so that I know I've killed all the uh, the roots so that we can just clear out everything above uh, above the forest. But at a certain point with the level ups you just stop learning abilities which is really all that matters so. Is there going to be anything down this branch? I'm going to be so grateful when I find like the last route that I forgot to, to undo. Yep. All right. Look at that. It's good that we came back because I wouldn't have done it. And I would have been angry at myself when I fought one and it didn't take it down in like a single hit. Man, this would have looked so cool back in the day on like an old CRT television. Like 240p CRT television. Ugh. 
You love to see it. You know, the, the next game in our Remedy Connected Universe series is going to be Control. We'll be playing that on stream, and it's going to be my first time I play Control not on a CRT, and it's going to be real weird to get used to that game at... Oh, good, we got the D unit. I absolutely needed that. Uh, it's going to be really weird to play that game not on a CRT when I am so used to the way that it looks and feels on a CRT. The game is absolutely mind-bogglingly gorgeous on a CRT. The motion resolution is so clear, like everything looks so sharp and well-defined. This is beautiful. But this time we're going to play it in ultra-wide, so that's sick. I am going to miss my delicious 144 frames per second. Chances are I could run it on 144 um, on my ultra-wide if I just wasn't trying to record it at the same time. Is there anything else around here? Let's see. Eh, doesn't really seem like it. Just this. Oh, D unit 10, that's essential. I'm super glad I found that. Aha! What is hiding behind this door? It still won't open. Remember that for later. Aha! All right, look at that. Hey. Imagine trying to navigate this if you only had constant forward motion. I mean, if I were to press the uh, L button, I just move forward. But yeah, we can't we can't go up there apparently. That should be enough. It'll just be straight ahead, I think. Yeah, pop back up. Take out all the monsters. Right now I'm just looking for an object. It is a little bit hard to find, but it increases your movement speed. And I think you can find it during this part, but I'm not sure. It's a blue thingy. All right, well, whatever. Let's just kill all the Arangata. Fight me. 
Slag says you need to come back later. Gotcha. Yeah, I couldn't remember when we did it, when we get to do that, but. want the experience. This one's weak from behind? Interesting. What? Um, oops. I thought I was on the front side of it. That's a considerable less amount of EXP. second I go to move, I just wanted to charge. Don't laser storm me instantly, god damn it. I mean, I have 2,000 health, so it's not really a big deal, but... Take these out instantly. Make some turns back. Lord Deus Clack says, are they farting on you in defense? No, they're turning on holograms. So I can't target them. Don't be weird. Don't make it weird. Why y'all always gotta say curse shit? Huh? Yay, a bazillion experience points. And it's a great fight. Uh, I want the extra thousand experience. Oh. Oh, we took him out. Okay. Okay, more of them. How many more? Oop. I always go the wrong way. I always count, I go the wrong direction. I forget that you need to go in the exact same direction as the, uh, as the pad on the bottom looks.
Am I gonna get another excellent? I don't think I've ever gotten an excellent against the Lazara. Because they're so annoying. Ugh, still just a great fight. I want I want to be higher level though. Give me that experience. I need it. Oh, they're all disappearing. Proto drones, yay! All right, we'll get the three thousand experience for this one. This one's gonna be easy. Excellent this time. Probably because I took that damage, that one turn of damage. Ah. Oh well. Alright. Gregorig. But yeah, this this definitely feels like very much a uh, a moment of the game being like, all right, we'll catch you up in levels, <laughs> like if we have to. save, or not save, uh, heal after this. Where's the 30 hour grind that is typical of a JRPG? Couldn't say. Dropped it. Forgot about it. Lost it. Uh, is that all of them? No, there's that one left. Get these out. Should have just immediately gotten behind them. But they activated laser or evasion, but it's fine. Oh, come on. Now we'll just wait. Don't laser storm me. Uh, they're getting, they're doing more damage. Azure Paragon says, I like how this part of the game negates random encounters with visible enemies in the field. The the tower does that as well, which is kind of weird. When you're on the floater in disc 2 or disc 1, whenever that was.
Yay, we did it. 2000 experience really isn't that bad. It's pretty good. Azure Paragon says, makes me wonder if they tried doing this for the whole game, uh, it would either crash the game or if there wasn't enough data space left. I think it's probably just a RAM issue. Oh, I should have, uh... Ouchie, how much damage did that just do? Oh my god. Heal Maxis. Dragon Phoenix. Very nice. Take this. I could probably vortex uh, or plasma vortex this thing for more damage, but. Plasma Vortex. Why not, right? Or I guess I could just do, uh, I could do Armageddon. I'm just Plasma Vortex. Eh. Not particularly compelling. Man, that second one is very brutal. Uh, Berserk list.
Let's just Armageddon. It's cheaper. Probably we'll kill them. Yeah. It did okay damage. Which discharger was closed? God damn. It's a lot of points. here. Hey, Apollo. Oh, no. It's opened the limiters. No, this is going to deal a bazillion damage. Ouch, 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 ouch. That was too much damage. Too much. Uh, what we're gonna do is... Field? No Maxis. Fire or not. Oh, it repositioned to hit us? How dare you? There we go. Woof. Yeah. Hey, we got an excellent. Nice. And we got Berserker Rage. And I think this is the final version of the base dragon. Arm wing. There might be one more. I'm not sure. Other than the uh the rare the special dragons. Alright, we're going back here real quick. Such a cool looking version of the dragon. It looks like someone's fursona. <laughs> it's like very fursona coded. He's been Ravioli says, What's a Durg? A dragon. A Durgan. There we go, this is the thing I'm looking for.
Villatuya fruit. And now look at this. We can go uh, faster by barrel rolling. Wow. We finally have a use for that. Kettle says you might have to realign your dragon stats. I probably will in a second. Two, three, four, five. I'm missing D6. Huh. I don't remember where D unit 06 is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where that would be. Is it worth it for me to come here right now? Hold on, let's let's backtrack. I have an idea of where it might be. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna we really wanna get the 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 last D unit. Or all the last D units, because it will be a massive upgrade for our strength, so hmm. flying much more quickly now. Oh, oops. I missed it because the draw distance. Uru looks amazing at, at this time of night. This is incredible.
Huh, where could it be? I think it's here, but I don't remember where. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Okay. Woof. I knew I I knew I missed it. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> but we we should be good now. Okay, now I can go back here. Kettle says this speed upgrade is insane. It's so nice. It makes a huge difference. It feels like it genuinely like doubled or tripled my speed. Oh no. Enemies. Glide Dragon. These don't look like true dragons to me. These look like wannabe poser dragons. Nice. Damn, a thousand experience for just pushing the button twice. That's just actually pretty good. Like says, are you gatekeeping dragons? Yes. We should gatekeep more, actually. All right, let's uh figure this out. Everything that's in this area. Gibson Lens Thingy. Being able to just immediately accelerate to the highest level is like actually pretty incredible though. It makes a huge difference. Let's save the game. Tail, interesting. This must be the area that we fought the Goliath uh, tracker or whatever. 
in Panzer Dragoon 1 or 2. I don't remember which one, 2. I think it was 2. Dark Maxis, nice. This. Goliath Fang, okay. Ooh, full elixir. I have two of those to offset the one I accidentally sold earlier in the game. <laughs> The strange, like, sequenced chanting in the background very much reminds me of Pathologic. Ooh, another full elixir. That's kind of rad. I think that's everything. I need six lock on to destroy that. Anything I can do in here? Zoop. Nope. Going on the other side then. I've seen this somewhere before. That's it. It's a steam statue that was in the desert. Anything over here? No. Alright. <laughs> There isn't anything else, is there? No? Huh. What does that do? Nothing. Okay. Huh. I don't think there's much we can do here right now, so 